Randy Nanonoko Lu is the ultimate grinder. In his lifetime, the 24 tabling online poker wizard has logged over 4 million hands and made Supernova Elite four times, earning him $2 million in winnings and over 500,000 in rewards from the Poker Stars VIP Club. His relentless work ethic and intense dedication have produced one of the most incredible graphs in online poker history and made him a legend in the community. My name is Randy Liu, I'm 25 years old, and I play as NanoNoco, play on PokerStars.com, member of Team Online for PokerStars. I first discovered poker in college, you know, I had some friends that were just kind of playing casually. You know, I was already aware of what poker was, but I, you know, I actually played it. In the beginning, you know, I did make a lot of deposits, but didn't work out too well. You know, that kind of drove me to work a little bit harder. Trial and error was kind of my, my way of approaching things. I would try tactics, you know, if one aspect didn't work, I'll try a different one. And when I do that, I, I start to understand why one way doesn't work and why the other way is correct. I would say that I'm definitely one of the hardest working players in online poker. You know, during middle school, ever since now, I've been playing competitive video games. I would used to go on weekends just, you know, during when I'm in middle school, high school, be like, yeah, I'm gonna be out for the weekend. You know, I'd go travel to like LA, which is six hours away, or I'd go travel to Seattle by car and come back the same weekend to go play these events. Not big prize pools at all, so I was definitely doing it for the competition. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Tom? What's up? I've seen you somewhere before. I know. Were you that, look at the place, Street Fighter? The, the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 champion. Right. That's no. me. No, not a champ. Take a yeah. belt. What? Is it the thing you're going to show me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, then. DJ Showstopper! My personal friends, don't really know too much about online poker. They know I play poker. They know I do well in poker. They don't really understand the uh, technical aspects of it. Hey, what's up? How's it going? How you doing? Pretty good. Panda guy! How's it going? Hey, it's good to see you. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Uh, you know, my poker thing and everything. I don't get to see Randy that much. Um, and so I'm like happy to see him. Like, yeah, I get to see you for the first time in three months. I've got random guy number four, five, and six coming up. Like, hey, I know you. My cousin knows you. I know your girlfriend. Up, right. Are you Nanonoko? Are you Nanonoko? Right. Nan nan <laughs> That's the phrase. Are you Nanonoko? Yeah. One day I opened up Poker Stars and I saw this promotion, Supernova Elite. I was just really curious about it. So I clicked on it and read more about it. Pretty much, you earn 1 million VPPs and you get live tournament packages and cash rewards and other great things. It was like an exclusive club that I just really wanted to be a part of. You know, I know that not that many people can achieve such a status. That's when I had my aha moment. I realized all you had to do was play more tables, play more hands. So I added one table, added two, added three. Eventually, I was playing 24. In a day, I was playing more hands than someone plays in a week. I was able to play mid-stakes, no limit, and do just as well as a high-stakes player. You know, I started to realize this is the way I should approach poker. Playing competitive video games has definitely helped me transition to poker. Just having that aspect of trying to beat other players, I do the same thing in poker. When I'm playing each player, I try to beat each player. I try to figure out why am I beating each player or what do I need to do to beat each player? Your mindset is the same for, for, for Street Fighter and the stuff, so I could tell what you were doing, I just didn't know how you were doing it. You know, even the same way you made people mad, I could tell they were mad online. So that's when I was like, okay, he's good, he's, yeah. he's good at this, because I was like, okay, he's, you know, what's that, tilt? You're yeah. tilting people. Oh, how does he know a combo? <laughs> why are you cheap in every game? When Randy thinks about games, he thinks about it, like, he pretty much asks you this, he goes, what's cheap, what works? Yeah and he sticks to that. If something's working, Randy's gonna keep doing it. And so it's not surprising that he's using that for poker because whatever he's doing is working, so he just keeps doing it is what I assume.
Playing 24 table at the same time, it's a lot of information that goes through my head. When I'm in a session, I'm really into it, and I'm just kind of maybe, maybe in a trance, so I suppose. All of the dots connect, you know, like one hand goes to the next hand, and to the next hand, so there's just so many decisions happening at the same time. And it never stops until I choose to end my session. You know, I just learned to deal with it. I just learned to experience it. And I'm able to just play it, you know, in my sleep almost. <laughs> I currently live in an apartment and, you know, I'm building a new house, which is going to be a custom build home. I feel very fortunate. Poker has given me such opportunity financially to be able to purchase a home at my age. This is going to be the main area. Um, just the kitchen and the dining room area, the fireplace is pretty much my entertainment area. Over here is gonna be my office. This is where I'm going to pretty much have my grind session, just kind of set up my computer. Just kind of seeing it build and just got to see each phase and it's really starting to get to me like I'm gonna be really happy actually when I get to move in. I think the most important quality that attributes to my success is just my work ethic. It's just believe in what you do and do it well and do it hard.